you guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Emily, and you know what time it is. It is time to do our monthly favorites. So it's the end of the month, so it's time to share with you guys my June favorites. And at first, when I was trying to think of what I was gonna share with you guys, I thought that I didn't have much, but then I realized I actually do have quite a bit, and mostly decor items. So I'm excited to share all of these with you guys. Remember, the way that we do it is inspired by Janae Brown, how she does it over on her channel, which is just walking around the house and sharing with you guys that way, instead of making it a sit down video. So I like filming it this style for the favorites videos. I hope you guys do too, because it's like a fun little way of showing you guys around the house. So we're gonna get started with decor items, and we'll start here in the living room. So here we are, in case you haven't seen the space in a while. It's a little gloomy here in San Diego. I know it doesn't seem like it on camera, but believe me, it's pretty gloomy. But it's still nice weather, can't complain. Okay, so first decor piece that I wanna share is my new Target blanket. It's from Threshold, and I had seen these knitted blankets so many times. I never got one and then one day I just decided to go ahead and get it because they are not pricey at all. I believe this one was like only $10, but you guys, it's actually pretty, pretty soft for the price. Like I was pleasantly surprised. It didn't feel that soft when it was like all rolled up and stuff when you purchase it, but it's the perfect throw blanket. I love the color. It comes in many different colors, but this one I think just goes perfectly with my space. It's a nice pop of color because obviously it's very beige over here because of the couch and the pillows. So I thought this was a great way to add some color. Now that it's summer, we want it to be nice and playful in here. And it's just so easy to make it look good on the couch like no matter what i do to it it just looks so well no matter where you put it i love it i just throw it on there and it's super lightweight as well so when you want to just snuggle up on the couch it's not like you're gonna feel suffocated or anything because it is still summer i love it i think it looks really good next it's another target piece we'll make our way over here and it's this new vase so this vase is from the brand so this one was $20, I still have the tag on it. It's from Threshold, so I take a while to remove tags because in case I wanna return it, you know? But no, this one is not gonna be returned. I love it so much. You can also purchase the larger one. This one's the round one, a little bit smaller size. The other one's just taller and longer. But I love the look of this. Whenever I see items that just give me like vacation vibes, I don't know why this gives me vacation vibes. I think it's just, it, it's just the look of it, like the color of it, the light wash, the texture on it. $20, I'm not gonna lie, was a little bit much. I don't really, I don't normally pay that much for a vase because I'm pretty cheap sometimes, but this one was just, it was just calling my name and I just decided to go for it and I love it. I've been moving it around the house because I just like it that much that I wanna see how it looks in different areas because right here, you obviously can't see it that much, but that's just where I have it for now. But I also had it displayed here, which looked really, really nice. I loved it because of this arch it just gave it like the full like spanish like feel and unfortunately i just couldn't figure out where to put this plant so i had to put the plant back because obviously the plant just fits perfectly there too so this is just going to be there for now i'm thinking about getting a rack for my records because this eventually is just not going to stay upright because the more I add, the more this like wants to fall over. So once I find a rack for that, I'm thinking about putting it like right here and then maybe I'll just be able to rearrange this shelf and display that base a little bit better. But for now, that's how it is. And another favorite is gonna have to be this lamp, you guys. I haven't even showed this to you guys yet because I'm working with a brand and it's in a video that I'm waiting to put live. But you'll see the unboxing for this and the whole setup later. And what I love the most is that the light that I have for it, it was one that was pretty dim. I had to change out my light bulbs, which you'll see in the other video, but this one was one of my old light bulbs that was a little dim. So I put it in this one because I didn't want it to be too bright in here because I like to keep it like cozy and moody in here. So at night, I just turn on this switch and it is the perfect amount of light. It doesn't distract from the television or anything, like if I'm chilling on the couch. Let's see what's next. What else was I gonna share with you guys? Oh yeah, the rest of the decor is in the bedroom. So let's go over there. 
All right, so here we are in the bedroom. I feel like it's been a while since you guys saw the bedroom. Thinking about getting some new stuff in here, but for a while it's been the same. Here's my huge fiddly fig. Ignore that ceiling hook. I don't even know how I got it up there. I am having trouble taking it down. Look how huge. Soon it's gonna hit the ceiling and start going over, which I'm looking forward to actually. Anyways, let's move on back to the favorites. Okay, you guys, this blanket. I know I love my throw blanket in the living room, but this blanket is seriously the greatest thing ever. When you want ultimate coziness, this is the blanket. This is from Sunday Citizen. Remember I had shown you guys the little unboxing video because they have sent this over to me. I swear I love this blanket. Every time I have a friend over, I have to point out this blanket and be like, feel this blanket. It's so good. And I'm even wearing one of the sweaters that they sent over to me because it's like the same material. It's so cozy. And especially today, since it's a little gloomy, I keep the windows open and it gets nice and fresh in here, but I like to still like cozy up and feel a little bit warm. And and to accompany that is the Sunday Citizen body pillow. Okay, material. Not as soft as this one, but it's still so soft, you guys. I love the color. Perfect for the whole like desert vibes I have going on, right? And it's the perfect size. I swear, I will put this pillow like this under the blanket and I will hug the pillow and fall asleep immediately. It's so cozy. Okay, next favorite would have to be, and I showed you guys this already. It is my new jewelry holder i don't know how i lived so long without one of these let me move it out so you can see a little bit without messing it up kind of hard to see it from that view i have some longer necklaces back here and then down here i have some bracelets some stud earrings and then i have some like other like dangly earrings my hoops and then down here is where i keep rings i obviously am like wearing all of my rings but I'll keep my rings here. And then I have these other bracelets right here. Oh, let me show you. These I got from Mexico, from Oaxaca. Really cute. Oh, these too. And these. But yeah, this is just such a cute way to organize your jewelry. I love it. Okay, so one last thing that isn't really decor, but it can be decor when you have like a cute holder or something. And that's my incense. If you guys remember, I used to light incense like every morning um, back when I was living in San Jose. And when I moved here, I just like not forgot about them. I put them away and then I just wasn't using them as often. I was lighting more of my candles. And then the other day I was organizing my TV stand and then I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, my incense, let me light one up. And then I just have been lighting them like every other day. But let me show you. So I was organizing and I mostly organized this section cause it was insane. But this is just organized craziness basically. It's just a bunch of candles. The ones in the back are almost empty. So I'm gonna try to finish them. But anyways, down here is where I have all of these incense and this is the brand that I use and these are the ones that I've been lighting lately I actually have one lit right now and whenever I light one I just have it right here on whatever plant I have available right there but if you want to make it a lot cuter then you can get like one of these little trays but then sometimes I I don't even know if this is bad for the cacti or anything but nothing has happened but sometimes I'll just stick it right here nothing has happened so far okay I'm thinking we should move on to like food now that was it for the decor I literally have like two or three things I'm gonna show you guys. The first one is for my coffee people. I go in and out of like the way I like to drink my coffee. For the longest time, I would just drink my coffee black. Like today, I'm just drinking it black with some cinnamon. Other times, I would draw just straight up almond milk. Sometimes with almond milk and some honey or almond milk and cinnamon. Or I'll just go ahead and try out a new creamer, which is where I'm leading to. So I was at Target a couple weeks ago and I saw this one because it was an oat milk option. And and it's the Silk Oat Yeah Oat Milk Creamer. And I didn't even realize at first that it was, it says the oatmeal cookie one. So I didn't know it was going to like taste like an oatmeal cookie. And I saw that it says right here, like, oh, froth. It just means it's gonna be easier to froth because you know sometimes when you wanna froth like almond milk or something, it won't froth that well. So I got this one specifically because it's like marketed as like frothy. If I see one that is like not an oatmeal cookie flavor because I don't really like like those type of like flavored things for my coffee, but 
this is so good so it's like a little treat I'm gonna probably wait to buy this again because it's a lot it's a lot so last thing is gonna be ugh, these chips so if you were to ask me if I were a sweet or salty girl the answer is salty I love salty snacks I love I love chips the most and if I could have chips all the time I probably would but unfortunately just can't live like that when you're trying to be healthy so I started looking at different options in the chip aisle you don't really have that many options when it comes to healthy chips but I started buying the Siete chips again these specifically so this is not the first time I buy Siete chips I've had the nacho flavor before and I can't remember what other flavor I did not like those but at Target they only have this flavor okay the sea salt and it is actually so good I wasn't it really expecting to like them as much as I do but this is so good and I've been just pairing these with with hummus and specifically the Greek inspired hummus this is the second time I purchased these together because they are that good definitely try out this duo it's the best okay so now we are in the bathroom and I just have two skincare or beauty items that I want to share with you guys the first thing will have to be my new sunscreen thanks to my friends because they use this and so I bought it so it's the super goop unseen sunscreen it's spf 40 so that's pretty good and it says that it's water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes what i love about this is that it's like it says unseen it comes out clear so you're not going to be left with like white sunscreen that you have to like massage into your skin thoroughly to like make it unseen but this one oh, is just so good and not only is it a great sunscreen but it makes your skin feel so smooth after and that's why i got it because my friend told me that she'll use it basically as a primer so I use this whenever I'm like gonna go out and I want my makeup to stay nice and stuff but for like an everyday then I'll use my CeraVe one because you know girls got eczema so CeraVe is my best friend but yeah this one I also really like because it's the ultra light moisturizing lotion sunscreen it's SPF 30 it has a matte finish when you take it out of the bottle it is white but it's not thick you know it's not thick it's not gonna leave like that white look on it it easily melts into your skin so those are my sunscreen favorites it's the summer now make sure you guys are applying your sunscreen it took a while for me I'm not gonna lie to start wearing sunscreen every single day even if I'm not going outside but it's right here next to all my other stuff so I remember to use it and then the last thing under like beauty that I want to show you guys would have to be my and you guys I think you guys saw when I got this one all right so this is the rare beauty pore diffusing primer this literally leaves your skin looking so good before applying makeup i make sure to not use it on an everyday basis because i just don't want to waste it so i have my sunscreen and then this over my makeup has not looked that good literally smooths everything out and it makes applying your makeup a lot easier so yeah i love that one let's see what is next Oh yeah, and another thing that I've been loving this month is seeing my avocado plants grow. If you guys have been following me since the very beginning, then you remember how I started growing avocado plants from its seed, from the pit. And I started doing that when I was living in, in Oceanside and then I moved to San Jose. And then once I moved here, I gifted all the avocado plants because I just didn't want to travel with them because it was just easy to just grow new ones. But yeah, for a while, I just kept a bunch of them in a Ziploc baggie to wait for the roots to to grow so I can then transfer them over to a jar and this month one of them started growing so nicely so here she is this jar from what is the brand called loop living loop living they sent this to me it's like perfect it's literally meant for an avocado seed and then I have another one back here and the jar that I used this is actually an old everything bagel seasoning jar let me bring that out so you can see so yeah, it was literally this jar and I just took off the label, washed it really well. Look at how cute. You can just use it to propagate your plants or grow an avocado plant like me. And let me show you guys where I keep the avocado seeds. So down here, I keep like my little plant stuff. I got my moisture meter, of course, my watering can and stuff. In here, I have my bag of avocados that need to be, whoa, holy, oh my gosh. So clearly it's been a while since I opened this because I don't remember the root being this long. Okay, so I need to transfer this over to another jar. Crazy. 
Look at all those roots. They literally tear through the tissue paper. He needs to go in a jar. All right, so we'll figure that one out. I think I'm gonna have to give one of these to my mom because I don't think I'm gonna have all these. And if you guys aren't aware of how I do this, you can scroll down to like my super early videos and see them. They're not the greatest quality though, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, what I do, if you wanna quickly know, is I peel the avocado seed, okay? You get rid of the skin and I just like to run it under hot water and it makes it easier to peel like that. And then what I do is I get a paper towel, I damp it, and then I just wrap it, put it into the Ziploc bag, close it up, put it under the sink because the roots will grow faster when it's in a darker space. Once it's like this though, I like to keep it in the windowsill, get some light. That's how I do it. But again, if you guys want to see those videos, maybe I'll like include a link up here or something like that. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys, let's head over to the living room so I can sit down a little bit. I feel like I've been talking way too fast. The last thing I wanted to show you guys is an app that I've been using. I used to use the app Headspace a lot, especially when I first moved here. I used it for meditating and sleep sounds and stuff like that. But for a while, I haven't been meditating, which I know is bad, but you guys know that in exchange of meditation, I was doing like the positive affirmations and stuff in place of that. You obviously know the competitor app, which is the Calm app. And that one I've been using specifically for the sleep stories and more specifically with Harry Styles. So my little sister has it. I think my best friend does too But the first time I tried it out was with my little sister. She was playing it and it was life-changing I instantly got so relaxed I don't even know how long in the story I get because it knocks me out Like I can't I couldn't tell you how much of it. I actually am awake for well, whenever I'm like No, I need to get off of TikTok and get to bed I will just start playing it and instantly I want to get cozy and I knock out within like I want to say maybe even like five minutes of playing the sleep story so nice so this is the one that i always am listening to which is the dream with me by harry and this is how it starts hello i'm harry styles and tonight i'm going to help you drift off to sleep Ugh, how do you not want to fall asleep to this man? That's another favorite for you guys. I've been falling asleep to Harry Styles possibly every single night this month. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And also let me know if any of my favorites are also your favorites. And if you're interested in any of the items that I shared with you guys, then I'll have everything linked down below. And before I say goodbye, I just want to thank you guys again for watching my videos, for the support, for every share every like all of that because I've just been feeling extra grateful lately to have such a great audience like you guys if you leave comments then just know that I see them I try to respond to everybody whether that's on here or on Instagram TikTok, literally anywhere I will try to respond to people because I just appreciate the support so much so just know that if you are one of those people that are always commenting and stuff I see it and I appreciate you so much I feel like even though I don't know you guys like on a personal level or anything, I still feel that connection to you guys. It's been a year since I've lived in this apartment and I feel like this whole year I have grown so much and a lot of it is thanks to you guys. So I just wanted to say I appreciate you and I hope that you guys are doing well and staying healthy and safe and I hope that you have a great start of the new month. Anyways, if you guys want to stay a little bit more up to date with me, don't forget that you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I share different types of content over there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time.